A second catastrophic natural disaster within days has struck North Africa, this time in Libya, where floods have killed up to 3,000 people. At least 10,000 more are missing after a fierce storm prompted Libya's two rival governments to declare a state of emergency, Azam Khan reports. A powerful Mediterranean storm named Daniel swept in from Greece and made landfall in Libya, triggering devastating floods across the North African country. Town after town and hundreds of farmlands were submerged in water. The storm, with wind speeds of 70 kilometers per hour, brought severe rainfall, particularly in the Serenaka region in the east of the country. Eastern cities, including Benghazi, lost thousands of homes. The devastation appears greatest in the port city of Derna, where dams collapsed, causing killer flash floods, which made the area inaccessible. A spokesman for the armed forces based in the east said at least 2,000 were killed and over 5,000 missing just in Derna, which has been declared a disaster city. Libya has been divided into two administrations since 2014, after a U.S.-led coalition of Western nations overthrew longtime leader Muammar Gaddafi in 2011. While the Benghazi-based government has been dealing with matters in the east, the internationally recognized government headquartered in the capital, Tripoli, has been actively involved as well. Both have declared three days of mourning. Aside from schools and shops, four major oil ports have closed. Daniel struck Greece, Turkey and Bulgaria last week, killing dozens, before making its way across the Mediterranean. Egypt said it was bracing itself for the storm tonight. Azam Khan, HKIBC.